Hello, HUM 2230. So, just a short video. I apologize for it being a little bit tardy. I've got family in town, so I got a lot of people running around. I'm kind of half entertaining, running around the city, plus trying to do some work. So, I apologize. I'm a little bit late. I think everybody, if you live in the Tampa Bay area, have had that situation. Lots of fa friends, family come in from out of town over the summer. Uh, but again, if you have any questions on what we did last week, uh, don't hesitate to ask, but that's kind of what I want to talk about. We're almost halfway through the class already, believe it or not. These six weekers, they go real, real quick. Uh, but as far as the journal assignments go, I think it's really, the process is very similar to just like what you saw with the forum assignments. You know, get in this process of ABC one, two, three. What am I looking for? Introduction, gain, gain the reader's attention, articulate a clear thesis, introduce the topic. Then you move on to three body paragraphs, one, two, three, make them, you know, an average, I guess you could say, I don't count words on these, but four to six sentences pretty much covers it. Don't let those paragraphs roll up into 10, 12 sentences. And that should have been broken up into multiple paragraphs. Kind of forces you to condense down your thoughts a little bit. So three body paragraphs, each one with a topic sentence that supports the thesis statement. And then the conclusion, Here's, here's where sometimes I see people miss opportunity because the conclusion is that point where you say, and this is the whole point of everything I just told you. What do you want to leave your reader with? That's what goes in that conclusion. So I'm looking for some, side, some sort of a, a statement down there that is articulating that main point that you really want to drive home. And, you know, be careful not to just short arm that and just do maybe one or two sentences and do kind of the Forrest Gump. And, th and that's about all I got to say about that topic, the end. Make sure you, again, four to six sentences is, is a reasonable amount if you're, if you're trying to, you know, quantify how long a paragraph should be. But uh, in general, that generally holds. Make sure you seek balance in those paragraphs. They should about be all even. You know, there's, there's writing teachers that despise the five paragraph essay. They say it's too rigid. It doesn't give lots of latitude. But those who appreciate the five paragraph essay, it kind of forces clarity. It forces you to think through. And it forces you to come up with ideas like a one, two, three in those body paragraphs that focus on the thesis and then the conclusion wraps it all up. It's really tight, it's really clear, it's really concise, and it's very focused. And so challenge yourself when you're doing those journal assignments. Uh, to really hone in on your writing. Writing is a skill you're gonna use, especially those of you who wanna go into a bachelor's degree, you're gonna need that skill going forward. So, so really don't just blow off the writing assignments or blow off the journal assignments. Make sure you use that as a tool to improve yourself, improve your writing, and uh, that way you'll get the most out of it. But along the way, again, if, if you have any questions on it, don't hesitate to ask. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you online soon. Take care, bye.